Hello everyone! What is senescence and are senescent cells really always harmful? We will answer these questions in this episode. Today we are devoting ourselves to a fascinating study entitled Cellular Senescence, Aging, Cancer and Injury, which was published in the renowned journal Physiological Reviews of the American Physiological Society. Our main focus is on understanding senescent cells, what they are and what role they play. Furthermore, we will examine what new insights this review contributes to the overall picture of cellular senescence. What is senescence? Cellular senescence, a phenomenon that often has a negative reputation, actually serves as a cellular protective mechanism. This mechanism comes into action when cells are exposed to various stressors, including DNA damage, oxidative stress, or chronic activation of oncogenes. The main purpose of this mechanism is to protect cells from unnecessary damage and prevent cancer from developing. When a cell enters the senescent state, it stops its cell cycle and stops dividing. This is an important aspect of the protective mechanism because it prevents damaged cells from continuing to proliferate and passing potentially harmful mutations to their daughter cells. Another notable feature of the senescent state is the failure of the cell to respond to growth stimuli. This means that even when the cell receives signals that would normally promote cell growth and division, it does not respond to them. This further helps prevent the spread of potentially harmful cells. Senescent cells also exhibit an enhanced secretion phenotype, meaning that they release a variety of proteins, including growth factors, inflammatory mediators, and matrix metalloproteinases, into their environment. Matrix metalloproteinases MMPs, are enzymes that degrade components of the extracellular matrix. Senescent cells that secrete MMPs can therefore influence the structure and composition of the surrounding extracellular matrix, that is their environment. This can have different effects depending on the specific context and condition of the tissue. For example, MMPs can help modulate the surrounding tissue and recruit the immune system to eliminate the senescent cells. However, in pathological conditions, such as cancer, MMPs can also promote tumor formation and spread by degrading the extracellular matrix, thereby facilitating tumor cells to invade surrounding tissue and form metastases. Finally, senescent cells are resistant to programmed cell death, also known as apoptosis. This allows them to survive despite their permanent cell cycle arrest and altered functions. This resistance to cell death is another factor contributing to the accumulation of senescent cells in tissue, particularly in the context of aging, which can then become a problem, because senescent cells have both advantages and disadvantages for our health. On the other hand, as we age, when they accumulate and are not broken down by our immune system, they can have the opposite effect. This means that the inflammatory parameters increase and cancer development can be promoted. This review aims to summarize and analyze the existing research findings on cellular senescence. The authors conducted literature searches to collect and present the latest findings in this field. The study shows that senescent cells can have positive or negative effects depending on the context. Some of the key findings are as follows. Senescent cells are required for proper limb formation during embryonic development and are later eliminated by macrophages. Senescent cells promote wound healing by stimulating myofibroblast differentiation and supporting tissue contraction. Myofibroblasts are a cell type that is an intermediate form between smooth muscle cells and fibroblasts. Fibroblasts are special cells and an important part of our connective tissue. Senescent cells contribute to the resolution of fibrosis, abnormal proliferation of connective tissue, in the liver and heart by reducing the production of extracellular matrix and releasing antifibrotic factors. So this is good for our health as excessive reproduction of connective tissue restricts the function of the organs concerned. On the other hand, Senescent cells can exacerbate fibrosis in the lung by inducing myofibroblast formation and exhibiting profibrotic secretion. This means that senescent cells damage the lungs by stimulating myofibroblasts to form more connective tissue and also release substances that promote connective tissue formation. The study suggests that senescent cells could be an important target for developing therapies for various diseases associated with tissue damage and aging. However, the authors emphasize that further studies are needed to better understand the molecular mechanisms and heterogeneity of senescent cells. In summary, cellular senescence is a fascinating and complex phenomenon that plays a key role in many aspects of our health and quality of life. Future research will provide further insight into this process and will most likely reveal new ways to improve our health and longevity. Thank you for your attention. 
and stay tuned for more exciting videos about the latest research on aging and health. And as always, I wish you a long, healthy and happy life. See you next time. Thank you.